Did you know that when you die, you're still going to have to file a couple of tax returns? At least? Um, for most Canadians, there's going to be two tax returns that happen after they pass away. At least. There may be more, but at least two. Um, now, of course, you're not going to have to file those. That's going to fall to the people you name as executor. I hope they love you a lot, or you're leaving them a lot because it's a miserable job. But here's the thing. How much tax do you want to pay when you pass away? You worked all your life to leave behind what you left. Uh, hopefully you left it with good intention to those that you love, uh, family, friends, causes that matter to you. And here's the question. How much of that is going to go back to the government? Typically, just to give you an example, someone last year that passed away, uh, they paid, they left in the state of about $400,000, of which about 120000 of that went back to the government. Uh, pretty ugly, but uh, planning could have prevented a lot of that from happening. And, uh, but you got to plan in advance, it can't be dealt with uh, once you pass away. So. This is just another one of those great cartel moments. The tax department being one of those big cartels that we all have to deal with. And they're going to get as much as they can from you. But there are great steps you can take. There are great places that you can accumulate your wealth, whether it's extensive wealth or modest wealth. Uh, we have some great options for where you can keep that in Canada uh, that's going to limit uh, if not eliminate the amount of tax you're going to have to pay when you pass away. Uh, obviously, tax-free savings accounts are one. Uh, your house, your personal residence, is certainly another. Uh, but there are several others, including things like uh, insured retirement plans and uh, businesses, uh, if you've got a business. Uh, lots of different opportunities there. So make a plan. That's what's more important than anything. Uh, if you want to keep as much of your money that you've lived your life to earn to leave to the people or the causes that matter most to you, be sure that you've got a strong plan in place from advisors who know what they're talking about.